See. Now, what's a statin? Statin is Lipitor, Crestor, Pravastatin, Pravacol. The first one was Zocor or Symphostatin in the, in the mid-1990s, the very first one. What do those do? They lower the LDL cholesterol between 20 and 55 percent. Are they effective? Very effective in numerical reduction. They are so, that's good. Why do you say numerical reduction? Well, the numerical reduction is getting the number from yeah. 180 to 90. So that's a 50% reduction. But there's different kinds of bad LDL. There's the, the ping pong ball is big and bounces through there. It may be okay. But the little bad BB, the small kind hurts and they get rid of that or lower that very effectively. So you have numerical reduction and in Lipitor, which did the outcome trials, the outcome date over five or 10 years, less heart attack, less stroke occurring later in life. Very impressive. So you can have a plaque in there that's 75% occluding and it can go down to 65 or 50 or 40 and sometimes. Does that mean a stress test, which is abnormal because there's not enough blood flow in the coronary vessels, can become normal? Can, yes sir. Do you see that very often or not very often? You can see that pretty often. You also see it after you open up the artery with a stent or bypass the blockage with bypass surgery. But you can take an abnormal stress test and convert it to normal. The, the statins, and especially one of, the, one of the statins has got some bad press lately. Let's talk about in general. What are some of the problems that the statins can occur? They lower the cholesterol, that's what we want but what can they do that we don't want? You don't ever take a statin if you're pregnant or about to come pregnant. If you're on one, you need to check your liver test. One to 2% of people will get elevated liver tests. They'll go back to normal mostly when you stop it. I've never seen that. Do you see that much? Rarely, very yeah. rarely. And there's, in our practice, there has never been a permanent issue with that. But it's still gotta be checked. It's gotta be checked. The big risk with statins is muscle tiredness, fatigue, and soreness. And in this recent one where the FDA was concerned about drug interactions with Zocor, the big problem is if the muscles break down and the muscles come through out through the kidney, that can be a real bad problem. Now that's the Simvastatin. Is that the one you're talking Symphostatin about? Simvastatin is Zocor or Vitorin has uh -huh. Simvastatin. And the FDA just this past week said everyone should call their doctor because there are certain interactions with other medicines and that may change the dose schedule. It doesn't mean it's a bad medicine. It just means the dose schedule needs to be looked at carefully. So tell me again about what happens to the muscles that cause the problem, because it's very, very important. Well, that's right, there's three kinds. One is just my muscles are sore, and does that mean I'm a weekend warrior and got sore muscles but I'm doing too much? Maybe. The second kind is they get tender and you get fever and you get a little blood test called the CPK that goes up tenfold. That's called myositis. And the third kind is if those muscle cells break down, the only way they can get out of your body is through your kidneys, and that can make you go into kidney failure. That's called rhabdomyolysis. And so with rhabdomyolysis, the protein that's broken down in the muscles just can't get through the kidney, so it clogs it up or blocks it, and you're going to acute kidney failure, and that can cause death. Can, but it can be reversed. You can stop the medicine and get on dialysis. When Baycol was out five years ago, yeah. that happened with Baycol. You could get through that, but that's a heck of a, that, there is no free lunch. You gotta be checked carefully. So when somebody goes on a statin drug, they need to pay attention for how long before, you know, a couple of, first couple of weeks you're on it as far as muscle aches or it can occur six months later? Forever. Forever Be careful and, and alert forever. But we all get muscle aches and pains. Well, so it <laughs> makes it a difficult problem. It's a it? hard problem in the clinic because people will say, George, my muscles are sore, is it my statin? So, but you gotta say, well, maybe, and there's things to check. And if it is a statin, sometimes you can take vitamin D or coenzyme Q10 and make that muscle soreness better. But people, we should all be telling our doctor, if you get a lot of muscle soreness, especially in your legs, and they hurt, that's worthy of discussion. Most cardiologists on statins? Most ones I know are. <laughs> and why are they on statins, George? It lowers that LDL cholesterol and gives you a healthier chance at a better future.